What was the Earth like 3 billion years ago? It is hard to imagine how the Earth looked like some 3 billion years ago. What was the population on the Earth? How did the people look like and what things were there in that period that is now extinct? Welcome to this video where we shall roll back the clock of time and unfold how the Earth looked like some 3 billion years ago. You can be sure that you will be surprised. Let us dive in. In about 3 billion years ago, the world was covered by a wonderful solvent that remains liquid at a range of temperatures and organic polymers that provide the Earth's structure. In the beginning, water came in part from Earth's mantle. Its early history contained lots of hydrated minerals with molecules of water as part of its crystal structure. Amazingly, water would have escaped from the mantle through the volcanic eruptions that erupted into the atmosphere eruptions and got into the atmosphere. Therefore, the formation of the organic compounds on Earth was basically made by elements reacting in the atmosphere. More likely, the other source of water is the icy asteroids and comets that struck the planet. The organic compounds are evidenced in the interplanetary molecules such as dust particles, asteroids, meteorites, and comets which are full of proteins and nucleobases. Cosmic clashes are thought to have generated enough energy to melt the Earth's crust and almost all of our planet's interior or the mantle creating planetary scale volumes of molten rock that formed magma oceans hundreds of kilometers in depth. The plate tectonics that resulted in the drifting of continents may have gotten underway at least 3.2 billion years ago and could have played a part in the evolution of life. During this period, the origin of life is traced as a mystery. However, there were significant processes that were considerable, as shown by the Miller-Urey experiments done in the 1950s Making organic compounds was the first step in the evolution of life. We live in a historical universe, one in which stars and galaxies, as well as living creatures, were born, matured, grew old, and even died. That may indeed be true of the Earth as a whole as it appears to the recent estimates of about 3 billion years ago. Perhaps the nature of the universe such as the galaxy had a beginning. To my concern, how was the beginning of life on this planet Earth about 3 billion years ago? The current geochemical evidence suggests that about 3 billion years ago, extensive oceans existed due to the accretion of temperatures that were too high for water to have existed as a liquid. This resulted in extensive oceans that existed for a long period, hence allowing simple organic compounds to have accumulated. Perhaps it was during this period that key steps in the origin of life on Earth occurred. The interplanetary heavy late bombardment occurred around 3.9 billion years ago. During this, material from space battered the Earth. At this time, living organisms showed self-sustaining biological processes and the ability to replicate. The Earth began to condense into four basic steps. To begin with the first step, the Earth began to accrete from a nebular cloud as particles that were tightly smashed into each other forming planetesimals. This resulted in a collision with each other as the Earth's mass grew, it began to gather material from the nebular disk. Secondly, as the mass of the Earth grew, it led to gravitational force, and due to it, the Earth began to compress into smaller and denser bodies. In the third step, the compression began to heat the interior of the Earth, and as well the heat generated radioactive decay. Due to radioactivity, the interior of the Earth began to melt. As the Earth began to melt, droplets of melted iron began to sink towards the center of the Earth, where they collected and condensed. Lastly, it spread up to catastrophic proportions that were called the Iron Catastrophe. At some point, the moon was formed. The moon was a tiny planet captured by the Earth's gravity. It was literally splashed out of the Earth by the impact of a Mars-sized planet. At this time, the Earth was reborn during the Iron Catastrophe and also by the formation of the moon. However, any trace of the surface structure was wiped out by the melting. Fossils Fossils were the mineralized remains of plants and animals that exist about 3 million years ago. They were crushed under strong waves of mud and due to this process, they had no time to rot. However, minerals were forced into their tissues through the medium water under extreme pressure. At the time, it was the pressure that created all the fossils of earth. Also, the surrounding rock was mud that became stone after being subjected to pressure. The main reason why fossils existed is because of the worldwide flood. For instance, Fossil life appeared about 3.5 billion years ago and interestingly, these were bacteria-like microorganisms that dominated for approximately 1.5 to 2 billion years. Moreover, fossils are the earliest specimens that existed about 3.4 billion years ago. Fossils contained possible traces of life on Earth which were informed by carbon-rich structures shaped like hair. They were bacteria-like microorganisms that dominated the Earth for 1.5 to 2 million years. 
Fossils were often found in rock formations deep in the earth, which underwent a fossilization process in order to become fossils. The only reason why fossils exist is because of the worldwide flood, Archean Eon of the Earth of 3 billion years ago. If you were able to travel back to visit the Earth during the Archean, you would likely not recognize it at all. At the time, the Earth was more likely a reducing atmosphere of methane, ammonia, and other gases which would have been toxic to life. Amazingly, during this time, the Earth's crust cooled enough and result in rocks and continental plates beginning to form. Interestingly, it was in the Archean that life first appeared on Earth. Imagine our oldest fossils date to 3.5 billion years ago and they consisted of the bacteria microfossils. Also, the Archean coast was a home to mounded colonies of photosynthetic bacteria called stromatolites. Stromatolites increased in abundance throughout the Archean, however they began to decline during the Proterozoic, the Hadean Eon. Prior to the Archean Eon, the Earth was in the astronomical or Hadean stage of planetary accretion that began about 4.6 billion years ago. No rocks are preserved from this stage. During the Hadean time, the solar system was forming, probably within a large cloud of gas and dust around the sun called the accretion disk. Gas and dust were the heavier elements on the solar system derived from the explosion of an old, massive star. Shockingly, the heavier elements were generated within the stars by nuclear fusion of hydrogen. 3 billion years ago, the sun formed within such a cloud of gas and dust which shrank in on itself by gravitational compaction. This process was experienced until the sun began to undergo nuclear fusion, which resulted to give out light and heat. To the surrounding particles, they began to coalesce by gravity into planetesimals that continued to develop into planets. Due to collisions between large planetesimals releasing a lot of heat, the Earth and other planets would have been molten. However, the solidification of the molten material into rock happened as the Earth cooled. Organic molecules. Archaic hydrothermal vents contained essential components that formed a basis for the earliest life on our planet about 3 billion years ago. This component was a 3.5 billion year old barite. The barites were directly associated with fossilized microbial mats thus suspected to have contained organic material that might have served as nutrients for early microbial life. Just if the barites are crushed, they may smell like a rotten egg. Dr. Helge Misbach of the Institute of Geology and Mineralogy records that there are also gases such as carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide which may have been important substrates for metabolic processes of early microbial life. The great bulk of the planet Earth was composed of oxygen, iron, silicon, and magnesium. Due to the aggression of the small bodies, the Earth was a rocky, solid planet whose atmosphere was formed later. As the Earth started to grow about 3 billion years ago, the heavy iron sank to the center, and the lighter silicates rose to the surface. The heat generated from impacts of other bodies kept the early Earth molten. Rocks of the lunar highlands are believed to have solidified from a similar ocean of molten rock or magma. This intensifies that the Earth and the Moon are geologically inactive. Thus, the cold, solid crust of its magma ocean still exists. The Earth's geological processes over the first few million years of Earth's history followed soon thereafter by the origin of life about 3 billion years ago, steered our planet towards an evolutionary trajectory of long-lived habitability that ultimately enabled the emergence of complex life. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe so that you can be updated on our next video.